Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shellcraft One and my old barn door. And I'm back today. Um, oh, also barn door treasures on eBay <laughs> and digital Diane designs on Etsy for digitals only. I have to throw that in there. I also want to give a shout out to all of my lovely, lovely friends who have joined the channel and tell you thank you so much. I'm so happy to have you here. Um, I was sick in the bed all last week, <laughs> and so I didn't get to come into the office much, so I haven't got to do a whole lot with that, um, but this week I'm hoping to be able to work on some things with that and um, get you some goodies in play. So um, I wanted to thank Misty Smith, Misty Cotton Game, no, Misty Cotton Game, <laughs> and Rhonda Atchison and Pam Vanny. Thank y'all so much for joining the channel. I'm super excited to have y'all here and um, thank y'all for coming along this journey with me and being here with me for so long. I really, really appreciate it and I really, really appreciate you joining the channel. So if you would like to join the channel, um, there's a little button um, right below the video on the right hand side that says join. You can click on that and it will let you join. Um, there's other options too. There's a super thanks button um, that you can send me a one-time thank you gift. Or um, there's a link in the description box below where you can send me a coffee. And those are just all ways that you can kind of help support the channel um, and allow me to continue to bring you content. So anyways... Thank you all so, so much. I appreciate you more than I can tell you. Okay, so let's get started and have some fun with Mother's Journal. So I have some trinkets, and I hope y'all enjoyed the, the little treasure hunt video. I know it was kind of a short video, but it just was meant to be fun. And, and I had some friends who said, that would be so fun to see what you got. So I just thought I would do that. And, and um you know, just a fun little video. So anyways, I have um, the little dish of trinkets here that I had chosen to maybe use in the journal. And then I also have um, this little box of goodies that has all kinds of trinkets and fun things in it that I've had from before. So I thought we could just play and um, and and go ahead and add some, some yummies. Um, I did go ahead and... Um, I finished adding um, what pockets and things that I was going to put in it. And as you can see, it's it's a tiny bit of an alligator mouth. But this is as much of an alligator mouth as I want it to have. Because I want this, I don't want it to be um, overwhelmingly huge. Because I think she's going to use it on a coffee table. And so, you know, I just didn't want it to be too much. So I didn't put too many things in here as far as pockets and things like that go. Um, I also want her to be able to add her own things in here and her own memories um, into the journal so that she can have her stuff in here. So I didn't want to overwhelm the journal. So what we're going to do is we'll add some goodies to, excuse me, we'll add some goodies to our billowing elements and and then um, I'm going to go through and we'll, I guess the last thing we'll need to do is the cover. So, but for today, we're going to add the billowing elements or the trinkets and stuff. So I'll do a quick flip through real quick and just kind of show you. Let me see if I can get it all in frame here. Just scooch it up a little. So I'm just going to do a really quick flip through just to kind of give you an idea of some things that I've added into the journal. Um, I added this... Uh, very vintage flashcard, and I thought it was cool that it had the word make on it. And then, of course, I, I added this with y'all on video. And I think I added this with y'all on video, too. I can't remember if I added the tag or not, but... Um, so I'll just go through. I'm not going to take everything out of pockets, but this was one of those pockets that we made together. And um, got some goodies in there. Um, I did add this cute little envelope, and I'm not going to pull everything out of the pockets and envelopes um, on this video, um, just so that, for time's sake, um, but um, I did add this. Um, whew, I was going somewhere with that, y'all. I'm still kind of sick, so just bear with me if you don't care to. Um, 
my brain's not quite here. <laughs> uh, we got the grandbabies last Friday, and um, uh, you know I had been sick the uh, the week before and was in the bed all week, and uh, and then that next week, you know, I was able to work all week. I added this pocket, and. Um, added some goodies into this pocket, some vintage goodies for her. I'll do a final flip through so that y'all can see everything. Um, but anyways, we got the babies on Friday and apparently little Rhythm had a nasty little cold. You know, kids always, they bounce back so quickly. Sometimes you don't even realize that they're actually as sick as they are. And I'm telling you what, uh, me and Poppy both uh, it picked up their little the little cold that she had and he and I we both spent the weekend in bed <laughs> and uh, no not the weekend because we didn't come down I came down sick Sunday and he came down sick on Monday so it was rough but anyways so I said all that to say something and I don't remember I did add a couple of these throughout the journal so that she could either put pictures or mementos because they're little pockets you know and she can take the little white piece out that's just to kind of give her an idea that it's there um, but anyways so I added some vintage goodies into some of the pockets um, added some fun things in here I added some 80s memorabilia and then some things that would remind her of mother as well because I kind of wanted it to be a mixture of the two um, to kind of tie in her memories and then her memories with mother so um, you know we were we were 80s ladies she and I so um, I wanted to put some some things this was my mother's cologne that she always wore and so um, I got some things like that some little Tupperware things to remind her of mother of course we had the Tupperware I added this little pocket here and a little napkin just for her to play with in the journal so um, I guess I probably should speed this up a little I did add this little pocket with lots of fun little goodies for her to use in the journal oh and I wanted to show you this I have this little book here uh, so stinking cute it's called Susan and the rain and my sister's name is Susan so this was perfect and so I thought she could read this to the babies it's from 1947 so it's a very vintage little book but I didn't want to take it apart so I left it as a whole and I just tucked it into um, that little pocket there I'm loving the way the doilies are turning out in the journal as far as billowing out look at these 80s things you have the little barrettes. Those are more from the 70s, but we wore those. And you have the Aquanet and then the little banana clips. I just thought that was fun. And then my mother was a heavy smoker. So her her cigarette of choice was Winston. So I put something there from that just to, as kind of a, a memory or a memento. Empty. Uh, I left a lot of the pockets empty so that she can add her own things in. And uh, again, this is mother's uh, perfume that she used. And then a little pocket here. So anyways, that's how far I've gotten in the journal. So I'm just gonna close it up so that it makes it a little bit easier to go back through and start adding the billowing elements. Okay, so I already added one just cause I thought it was really pretty right here and I just kinda wanted it to dangle down. I don't know if you can see it or not, let me see. Can you see that? Yeah, added that right there. And um, I kind of want, I have also, this is a little bag of goodies, um, of things that I picked up at the lake. And so I thought maybe I might could incorporate some of these in here as well, just as something um, very different and unique to us because, you know, that's where she and I, we get to spend a lot of our time um, is when we go to the lake so we kind of make lake dates and we meet each other at the lake and she'll call me and go hey are you coming to the lake this weekend and uh, I haven't got to say yes in a long time 
Uh, but right now, you know, our dad is still living in her lake place, so we haven't been able to have that this year. So I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, we did find Daddy an apartment, and um, it's a brand new apartment in a senior apartment community. Uh, they are still being built, and so he should get to move in in July. So we're looking forward to getting him settled into um, his own place again to where he can be comfortable. So exciting things happening. So let's, I'm going to go ahead. The way I like to do the billowing items is I kind of just like to turn my book towards me and I'll open the cover, but I just kind of want to, um, just kind of get an eyeball idea of, you know, what things I'd like to use and like have this sweet little button here on a safety pin that I got in some, um, happy mail. And I thought this would be cute to use. I love how um, old and vintage it looks. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. And it's almost like it has a... Um, I can't tell if that's a monogram or not, but it almost looks like it, but maybe not. So I thought this would be fun to maybe add somewhere up here. I just kind of want things to um, kind of poke out and peek out to for people to just barely see it and go, ooh, what is that? And kind of draw your interest and make you want to flip through the pages and look further. Kind of like another treasure hunt. So I thought it would be pretty to kind of put this gold up against this white and kind of give it a little contrast. So I'm just going to open the pen. Let me see if I can get... I was trying to see if I could get this through to the other side of the safety pin. And y'all, my sweet friend Debbie sent me, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it to go through there, but I'm just going to tuck it through these little holes here on this eyelet here at the top. Um, my sweet friend Debbie Long, hey Debbie, um, she sent me some safety pins that don't have this little piece here. So they're like open safety pins and I have hoarded them <laughs> and I need to just get them and use them, right? <laughs> no, I'm saving them for something really, really special. This is really, really special though. So I might break some of them out. I actually think they're in this little trinket box here, but yes, I'm hoarding them. Yes, there they are. Super cute. Okay. Let's just go ahead and use one since I have them here. I'm so bad about doing that. Are y'all? Oh, super cute. These are like little keys. It's so fun to go through and find all the, the little goodies that you're hoarding. <laughs> I'm going to pour these on a little tray. Okay, so let's see. How cute are these? Oh, they have a little heart on them. How stinking sweet is that? Can y'all see that? So I think I'm going to use these on one of them. Uh... Trying to see what I have here. I'm thinking maybe I might want to put them right here and have some bulb pins. I'm going to use a mixture of bulb pins and safety pins just because I think that adds. So it's a little fun. All right, so I'm just going to take this bulb pin and run it through the eyelet holes as well. And just let that dangle off the edge there. With the keys with the little heart. How sweet is that? I love those. Thank you, Debbie. And then here are... Okay, these aren't the safety pins. Oh, look at the tiny little paper clip. I forgot I had all these, y'all. I'm so bad about that. <laughs> I'm just going to pour these in here, too. Sweet little teeny tiny bells. I think I might add a couple of those on here. That would be fun. Um... Let's see, what else do we have? Okay, so we have a bunch of hearts here. And I kind of wanted this to have a bunch of hearts to it. Um, because, you know, that's what this is all about. It's all about love. And I think I would like to have a little pop of this red. I, I've had my eye on this one since I got it. And I love the little red heart. It's a bell. I don't know if you can hear it dangle um, or jingle. But I'm going to take this off. So I just kind of took the little earring wire off. 
and then we'll find where we want to put this. I kind of want it to hang off from here. And just have a little tiny pop of red. Well, it's not tiny. It's a big piece, but I like it. Okay, so let me just look at it real quick. Yeah, I think that would be a good place for it. And I think I'm going to use a safety pin for to attach that one. Okay, so I think I'm just going to use a safety pin. Let me scoot this around so we have room to maneuver. And I think I'm going to use just a regular safety pin. I can't find my my little safety pins that my sweet friend Debbie gave to me. So now I'm going to have to do some digging. <laughs> I'll find them usually in the most unexpected place is when, where I find them. Okay, I didn't. I want this to hang a different way. Okay, there we go. All right, and then let's see what else we have in our little heart trinket dish here. Thought it would be fun to maybe use some chains. I mean, this is a sweet little necklace. But I'm not real thrilled with that. This is just kind of how I do it, you guys. This would make a really, really neat bookmark. And that's what I'm going to use it for. I love this so much for a bookmark. Whoops. Oh, I want that to go on there. Because I want a piece at the top and a piece at the bottom. So, we're going to add it to it. Okay, so I've added that onto the necklace. And I'm just going to kind of sit it right there for now. Until, um, until I get ready to... Well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and figure out where we're going to put it. Inside the journal. And that way we'll have it in place. And, I mean, she can move it around wherever she wants to move it to. Yep, I'm thinking this is a great spot right here. I'm just going to add it right through there. And let's see what that looks like. So, then you have it billowing out here on the bottom, a ruby heart. And the cool thing is, my this is my sister's birthstone. And then you have this piece uh, billowing out the top. So it's another added piece that adds interest. Okay, and then I found this pretty little piece here. I'm not real sure what it goes to or, you know, what the purpose of it is, but I think it's really pretty with all the little hearts dangling off of there. It's kind of hard to see, um, but it doesn't have very good ends. So I think I'm going to have to do... some finagling with it to figure out how I'm going to get it onto a piece in the journal. And I think I want it on, I want it hanging down like right here. So I'm going to go ahead and open to this page here. Oh, I see it goes to the back. Let's see. So it might not can go on that piece. It might have to go on this piece. Let's put it on this piece and see what that looks like. So I'm thinking if I put it like like here, um, then I'm thinking that I'm probably just going to stitch it onto this piece of fabric here. Okay, so I just stitched it onto there. So let's close it and see what it's going to look like. So see, it's just kind of, let me see if I can get it to where you can see it can y'all see that okay it's just gonna billow out but it's just enough to um you know say hey to whoever uh spots it sitting on her table oh what is that that's really pretty let me go see what that is so that's kind of the whole point of the billowing elements so let's find another okay so i have i think i have plenty of hearts in here so I'm just going to kind of flip through 
and just start finding places um, to put things. And I think while I do this part, um, I might let some music play and then we'll come back and we'll finish up with some of our, our feathers and some of our bark that I got from the lake. So we'll come back and do that. But for all of the trinket things, I think I'm just gonna let the, the music play and do it that way. So I've got all the little trinkets on here that I wanted, except for a couple of them. Um, I have this, which is has little tiny watch pieces in it. And I just thought it would be fitting um, to have that in there um, because of how much time has gone past. So I want to add that one somewhere. And then I have this one. And this is a significant, this is just a Tim Holtz piece. Um, I got the little factory tags is what it's called. Whoops, sorry. And, um, but my mom was 47 when she passed away. And so I want to, I want to put this in here somewhere as well. So I think here is where I want to add the little, the little clock or the, um, the watch pieces on this little doily right here so we're just gonna add that on
I always like to do a couple of holes just to make sure that it holds it well. But I think that'll be cute right there. And then this one, I think I'm going to take it back here to my mother's picture. And I'm going to put a piece of paper on top of that so it's not such a glare. Um, where did it go? What did I do with it? Oh, there it is. Okay. So, um, on this one, this is, this is my mother's picture and I'm going to put the 47 here somewhere. Um, but I also wanted to add one of these stick pins that I made a long time ago and I just think they're so pretty and I thought this page needs a little bit of color cause it's, you know, kind of all white. So I thought I would put this one here. Um, and I love it that it has the red in it because my daddy always called my mother his lady in red because red was her favorite color and she looked so pretty in red. So I'm just going to put my little end piece here so that nobody gets poked when they're looking through the book. Maybe. <laughs> Got it. Okay, so we'll put that there and then... Um, for the 47, I think I just want to put it, you know, kind of right here somewhere. And I think I'm going to just put it on a bull pin and just pin it to the page. Scoot that down so y'all can see a little better. And I'm wondering, I think I want to put a, um, I think I want a jump ring on that. I think that will be better. So I'm just going to come right up here and just kind of slide this bulb pin in at the top. Oops. Oh my, he doesn't want to go in. Okay, well I tore the other bulb pin up, so I had to get a different one, so we put it in a different spot. <laughs> But yes, I like that there. I think that looks pretty, and my sister will know what that means. Next up, I have, uh, this is a, um, a goose feather from the lake, and so I thought I would add a little, bee, little piece of the lake in here, because that's our thing. So I think I'm just going to kind of um, stitch that on right there, so that, and she'll know what this means. So I think I'm just going to stitch it on right there. There we go. I just tied it on with some wax cord and I just kind of want to take a peek and see what it's looking like. I may put a few more dangles up here, but I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. Um, but I really like the way the dangles are coming out the side. And I spelled her name with the Scrabble letters. And I have trinkets on here that have meaning to her and I. And then I, I like it. I like the way it's turning out so far. So I think we're going to end the video here. And then in the next video, we'll come back and we'll do the cover. And um, get that get it put together and get, get it finished so I can wrap it up and give it to her. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you got some good ideas from it. I hope you grabbed out your ring binder and worked in yours as well. So thank you so much for crafting along with me. Don't forget to join, like, subscribe, send a super thanks or grab a coffee for me. And I'll see you in the next video. I hope you'll have a great day. Big hugs.